Yo, what's up, mofos? I'm back. It's day 110. Shit, 110 days. That's crazy. It is Sunday on... What day is it? It's the 25th or the 6th? I don't know. Anyways, it's a nice day outside. Got some, sun's coming out. I'm behind the building, so I don't see the sun until like probably 11. Um, I can see the sun, but I'm in the shadow. So in the middle of the day, it's real nice over here, but not uh, in the morning. I can't see the sunshine. So I'm going to go on a walk literally after watching this video. Not after watching it, but after creating it. Um, I'm sorry, I'm tired. I know I look rough. Holy shit. <sighs> Last night, I got sleep. So you're probably wondering, is it 6 a.m.? It's not 6 a.m. It's fucking 8 a.m. Um, and that's because I decided to sleep in. I woke up at 5 a.m. actually because I was like, hey, let me let my body rest on my rest day because I've been chipping, 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 chipping away on my sleep schedule um, by waking up at 6 a.m. every single day. And I was like, let me, let me just get like, it's kind of like a refeed, uh, like on a cut, like you, you just chip away at it and you're kind of like, fuck, well, now my metabolism is all the way at zero. So like, I gotta get it back up. So you refeed. No, it's the same thing with sleeping, sleeping shit and I can't function. So let me get like a full night's rest and uh, wake up when I feel like wake up when my body tells me, woke up at six. I was like, fuck, it's 5am. Really, really body. You think now is the time to wake up? No, I went back to bed and then I woke up at eight. So uh, it's cardio day, but our cardio is just walking. Like I'm not going on fucking, maybe I'll go on like a bike or an elliptical or some shit like that. But I like just going on walks, getting like 20,000 steps in and then, um, yeah, just chilling, working obviously, but I'm going to have like a chiller day. Uh, more chill day than typical so less working more being active and like walking around and shit meal wise i don't know what i'm eating for my meal probably a steak right that's what we have every single day i haven't checked the fridge i looked this morning i'm like 188 um damn day 110 i don't know what i was i think it was like 180 like low 80s but um fluctuating a lot. I really, really want one of these. Okay, these would be good, but they're not thought out. There's a, there's some porter houses down there, and then that's a salmon. So I might be eating the salmon, to be honest. Shit. Salmon or eggs or something. I gotta clean this stuff up. I, uh, I, do, I do my dishes every other day, so it fucking racks up if I cook inside. That's why I like cooking on the grill out there because if you cook on the grill, then you don't have to clean it up, right? You don't have to clean up the pan. So, and it doesn't make my, my house smell like shit. So. Cause the ventilation in this bitch is over here. It's not over there. There's no ventilation over there. So smart, smart, smart design by, by whoever made this place. So, um, recap on the week. It was a, it was a shit week. To be honest, I got, I got a lot of good stuff done and I, I definitely got stronger. I changed a lot of things the last couple of weeks. One, I was doing carnivore, zero carbs. I feel way better having carbs. I have more cravings. I will be honest. And sometimes I can overeat and I think I have been overeating because I'm not tracking it. Um, it is honestly kind of hard to track your calories. Um, especially when like you're just like throwing things together. Like I, when I showed yesterday, like I'll do this peanut butter oats mix. It is the fucking best mix in the world. Like if you guys like peanut butter, if you know what PB2 is, so it's like powdered peanut butter. It's like super good for you. Well, it's not super good for you. It's like super low calories, but like a good amount. I don't know how they do it, um, but it's powder. And you throw it in a bowl and then you throw oats in a bowl. So like you mix them like one to one, maybe, or uh, you could do a little bit less oats. If you don't like oats as much, pour some milk in there, mix it up, peanut butter, 
with infused oats. It's the best thing ever. It's high protein as well because there's eight grams of protein for two tablespoons, which is insane. And then you also got the oats in there, some more carbs, uh, fiber. It's it's just like, it's and it tastes like dessert. Like I eat it for dessert and I eat it multiple times. And I don't know how many calories it is because I do kind of do heaping scoops. So I'm guessing it might be in the range of like 300 calories per time I do it or 400. If I do it two times, that's 800 calories. That's a lot, right? Okay. So I don't know, maybe it's not that much. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's more like 300 or 200, I have no idea. Um, if it is, I should probably measure it out and, and figure it out, but I don't know, I'm too lazy, right? Too lazy to get out my fitness pal and, or, or even weigh, I don't have a scale to weigh my food, so maybe I should dip into one of those and start tracking because I, I watched a video where, let me know if you guys track your food and your calories and your macros and all that stuff. But I watched a video where like, I can kind of like tell how much calorie something has, but, and, and people say they, they can do that. And like, I'm a, I say I can do that, but realistically, I know I'm not going to be accurate. Like I'm underestimating people underestimate how much they're eating and overestimate how much cardio they're doing. And that is like so fucking true. Like I'll look at my phone and we'll see how many steps I did yesterday. It was fucking nothing. Like I didn't, I was working the whole day. Like I didn't fucking have time. I was walking around like on calls and stuff. I would be like walking around, like just trying to get more steps in. So I didn't have my phone, but let's see what my phone tracked. Cause typically I have my phone on me. Um, but I don't have it in the gym either. So the two times I did walk around, I didn't really have it on me. So, holy shit. Yesterday, 1,600 steps. Okay, Thursday's even w worse, 800 steps is what this thing says. Obviously I didn't do that many and there's probably, like I probably get like a thousand or two, 2,000 in, in the gym, just walking around. Um, because I'm in there for like an hour and then obviously like I'm walking around and like being active. So I would say like you get, a, you get probably a thousand steps every, every 10 minutes. Um, so I mean, if I'm in there for an hour, that's going to be one to 2000 steps. So anyways, that is fucking way too little though. Like that's embarrassing. Eight, 80, 800 and something. Fuck that. All right, I'm gonna go do 20,000 today to work up for it. So I'm gonna go on a walk for like an hour right now. Hopefully my hip doesn't get destroyed. My belly is grumbling because I'm so hungry, but I'm not gonna eat until, let's set a time. What time is it right now? It's 8.30, 47. Um, let's do, Okay, so that would be four hours. Let's do one o'clock. I'm gonna eat at one o'clock. Camera's gonna die. I'll eat at one o'clock. We'll see what I end up eating. If it's a steak or if it's your mom. Let's go. Yo, just got back from, all right, the camera died right as I picked it up. I just got back from my second walk. It's about two, wait, let me check. It's 2.30 right now. I uh, did my first walk. Early this morning, that was about like 7,000 steps. And then this next one, I feel like it might've been longer. Um, let me check this real quick. I'm at 15,000 steps right now. You can see the last two days when I don't carry around my phone. Like if I'm working and I'm walking around out here, like I don't have my phone in my pocket, so it's not gonna track how many steps I'm doing, so. Yes, it is going to be like close to this, but like, look at that, 802 steps. I did more than that, probably more like three, four, four thousand, five thousand, maybe. I, I, I'm over exaggerating to say four thousand, but I would say like probably th like just a couple thousand, but definitely under four thousand actually. Um, so yeah, that's a problem. I got to make it up today and 
15,000 steps already. I'm definitely going to hit 20,000 steps. Uh, might go... I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of the day. I'm going to eat my meal, have a steak real quick. Um, I'll show you guys what kind of steak I'm having. It's called the butcher's cut. So it's supposed to be a very, very good cut. Steak, I've never had it before. Um, this is what it looks. It's it's kind of weird, like it's L-shaped. But um, yeah, it's, it's called a beef hanger steak. It's a 1.7 pounder. So... Um, they call it the butch the butcher's cut because butchers used to or they still I have no idea butchers tend to like want that cut they keep it for themselves because it's so good so it should be a pretty good steak it was actually pretty freaking cheap as well I think it was like maybe eleven dollars a pound or something like that it was pretty cheap maybe maybe more than that maybe it was fourteen I have no idea. Um, but I know it was cheaper than the porterhouses. The porterhouses were $22 a pound. So that would, it's like a $14 steak. So a pound, one point, I don't know. It's a, it's a good cut. We'll see how good it tastes because I tried um, fl flat iron steaks. Those are good. Those are really, really, really good. If you grill them, I don't really like it when I fried it, but when I grilled it, oh my gosh, that was so good. It was. It was probably top three steak that I've had. Porterhouse is definitely the top of my list. Um, I don't know. I'm just a porterhouse guy, I guess now. I do like, I haven't got any New York strips lately. I should try to get some, but uh, a ribeye, I need, this is, the, this is what I need the next time I go, which I might go actually later today if they're still open. Um, I need a, uh, a ribeye. I have bone-in ribeyes, but I want just a normal ribeye without the bone. And then I also want some New York strips. So those are the two that I haven't tried that I'm like looking to. I've, I've eaten them before, but like not from this new lady that I'm getting meat from. Um, I also got the text today, uh, next Wednesday. So in five days from now, um, they got my actual like order of like lots of meat. I think I got three. So there's, uh, so they're 17 pound cut, uh, bundles. So they're like a variety of different cuts of steak. Um, 17 pounds. I got three of them. They're $270 each. So it's a fuck ton of meat, but holy shit, it's going to be $810. For all this meat so we're gonna see how good it is i'm uh i'm gonna eat these next couple steaks over the next couple days but uh yeah hopefully hopefully when they give me these these meats on wednesday there's a good variety and they're good cuts i've never had i've never had uh any grass-fed beef well i've had grass-fed beef but grass finished. She said it's way different than like, if you think you've had grass fed beef, you probably haven't. It's a bit, it's quite a bit different. Um, is what she said. Like normally you're not gonna like, it might be grass fed for the most of its life, but then the last like a year or so, or like a couple months before they get ready to butcher it, that's when they feed it a shit ton of grain. So technically it's grass fed and it's been out free ranging. Um, eating all its food from like the grass and stuff but then like there's a couple months where it's in a barn just eating grain like just filling up with fat so technically it's grass-fed but it's not actually grass finished like beef um i'm not a butcher expert that's just what this lady told me who owns a cow ranch and butchers calves so i think she would know anyways uh, we'll see how it tastes. I mean, I think I got two, I think I got two, uh, 17 pound things of grass and then, and then two of grain or one of grain. Um, I'll have to check it real quick. What did I say? Yep. I said two bundles of grass fed and then, so I get, what is that? 34, 34 pounds of grass fed and then four, uh, 17 pounds of grain fed beef. So yeah. I'm excited. I'm hyped the fuck up. And I'm hyped for this hanger steak. We'll see how good that is. 
Anyways. Feel a little bit fat right now, but yeah, look at that. But in a couple couple of weeks, couple of months, we'll be tan, we'll be a little bit more shredded, and we'll be probably bigger. I'm I'm hoping like from this fucking creatine and uh, protein powder. <laughs> the only thing is, after incorporating carbs, holy shit, I'm farting so much. It's, it's just, it's a problem. It's actually a problem. So, don't come over. All right, I'm gonna end it. <laughs> maybe that was too much information. Cut to fucking my meal, maybe. You can see how flooded the river is. Wait, zoom in. Look at that. It's typically not that flooded it's supposed to get like five feet higher or something like that as well so we'll see what happens we've been getting a shit ton of rain so that's why but got some rice cooking look at that and then they turned out a little bit different than i thought they're so these are the hangers um i forget i, I even just forgot they're the hanger steaks um, but I didn't realize that they were just like long steaks. I thought they were like in an L shape, but it, and I thought it was just one steak, but I guess it's two and we'll see how, um, they get on. I'm going to go down there and heat up the grill while this is, uh, these noodles are not noodles. These, these rice pieces are cooking. Um, I didn't sit, show you guys. I had a smoothie earlier, as you can see, and then I also had a bowl of oats and fruit. So kind of double fruit smoothie kind of thing. Um, I don't know. I, uh, I really like that meal. So we'll, uh, I, okay. Yesterday to talk about my garden yesterday, I was, it was so windy, like insanely windy. Um, I put these like a spatula and a couple forks, like small forks that I don't use in. Um, wait, let me check. Uh, to hold the plants up so they didn't get blown over and broken. And then as I was putting the fork in, I broke off the, the one fucking arm of the plant with all the flowers on it, which are the fruit, all the tomatoes. So I broke that shit off. Of course, of course. But as you can see, more strawberries are growing. Look at all those. That's like... 10, 15 strawberries just right there. So there's like four or five ones that'll be ripe in a, a day or two. And I'm gonna be a happy boy. So yeah, I'm gonna get to eating and cooking. And I'll catch you guys when it's done. Show you the final result. I don't think you guys understand the temptations I just had to withstand just now. So like five minutes later. I went down to go turn on the grill. I don't know why I always do it, but there's like a little mini fridge um, in the lounge. So like there's the whole lounge area by the patio. There's a fucking mini fridge. People have parties and shit there. I don't know. Just chill out. Fuck. I, I look at it because I'm like always thinking, hey, somebody leave something good there. Somebody left two M&M... What's it called? Ice cream sandwiches. Two of them in the fucking fridge. I picked one up. I was like, ah, oh, this is dessert. I don't have milk. I just drank all my milk this morning, which I realized. I fucking walked away with it and then I went and put it back. That was fucking hard. And now even me just thinking about it. I think I just got to move on and then get satiated with this fucking steak and rice so I can, uh, not even think about that. Maybe I will think about it, but maybe, well, I'm making this fucking video so I don't go and get eat it. I want to, I really want to. I want to eat them both. I would eat them both, I could, but I'm not going to, so. Fuck. They sound so good right now. But it's just like, I'm gonna eat them and then I'm gonna be like, fuck, 
I wish I wanted to eat them, and then I'll, and then I'm I'm still gonna be hungry if I eat them. So yeah, just remember that, guys. Just pause out, zoom out. I'm I'm looking at my the wide picture of like me fucking three months down the road. Be like, Tristan, you really ate that fucking ice cream sandwich on the 25th of May? No. Why'd you do that? I would I would have looked better. Exactly. So that's what I'm thinking about. You just gotta think down. Short term, short short term sacrifices for long term rewards is something that I really need to think about. And I've been good about it. I just fucking did that. Typically, I would have just <laughs> grabbed them both and ate them. And I still want to, but oh, fuck. All right, all right. Turned out fucking amazing. Like, look at those. Those, uh, it turned out a lot better than I thought. I didn't get a good sear because I would say, like, it's really hard when it's, uh, not on fire. Like, there's a, when there's fat and stuff. Why is my hair like that? Uh, when it's, there's fat and stuff, like, it'll light on fire and then give it a good crust. But this is, like, almost a good crust, but, like, I don't know. They're weird. It, it looks really, really good, though. Um, maybe it's because I put the, the hard carnivore. This is the seasoning I always put on. It's called Hard Carnivore, Hardcore. Um, it's black beef seasoning, so it's literally black. So maybe that's it, but rice is amazing. I was gonna ask, how the fuck, does anybody know how to cook like Chinese tasting rice, like where it's just super plain? But like if you put some rice, uh, some salt on it, it's so good. I don't know, I just love Chinese food rice. Chinese people rice, I don't know what to call it, but let's see, uh, I'm just going to cut into it, see what we got, and then uh, I'm going to heat it up. Yep, 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 yep. Yes. Alright, wait, let me, let me get the middle piece so you guys can see what we're working with. Look at that. It's very different. It's a different, very different pot. It's really good. It's just different. I've never tasted a steak like that. It almost tastes like a skirt steak, but uh, a bit more tender. I don't know, a skirt steak, if you cook a good skirt steak really well, it can be really tender, but it's so much fat. This is a bit more lean, and I do like a lean cut. Also like a, a bit of fat, but not, if you're eating too much fat and it's, it just kind of gets overboard sometimes. I can tell why the butchers take this shit home. So, yeah, I'm gonna eat in peace. In peace. Rest day, let's go. Blood juice. It's actually tea. It's like berries and shit, but. Oh. Every time they have teas down there, like when you walk in, they kind of have like a coffee machine and then like free, like some teas. I was just taking some teas and just try them out. Sometimes teas, I don't know what is with them. Like I get a fucking high from drinking teas. Some, some teas. Not all of them, mostly mint, uh, mint tea, uh, mint black tea specifically. So this stuff, it's not that bad. I just started sipping on it. There's three packets in here. I opened up one thing and I just threw them all in. I was like, fuck it. We're doing all three packets. It's actually really good. Very sweet. I think, I think one packet honestly would have done the job for this thing, but I've never had this kind before, so. 
obviously you can see it's really really thick but a mint uh, mint tea or mint black tea it hits a spot every once in a while I'm not like a casual tea drinker but every once in a while I'll have a good cup of tea and I'll just I mean I'll be on my tea tea grind same thing with energy drinks like I, I haven't drank an energy drink in a while a couple days <laughs> But then there was those couple days, like where a whole week where I was just fucking chugging them, like two a day. So I go in phases. I don't know why. I'm gonna go on a walk, another one. Get my 20,000 steps in. I'm gonna go get, I'm thinking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go look and see what kind of drinks they have that are like zero calorie or like, uh, I, I want a kombucha right now, but low sugar, like zero sugar. So we'll see uh, what the store has or if I can go to a, fucking convenience store or a gas station we'll see but yeah i'm gonna go on a walk and fucking get my steps in get my cardio in i was this close to ordering uber eats i have 10 free dollars and then a 40 40 percent off so it would have been like it literally wouldn't have been eight dollars to get a fucking meal a big ass meal delivered to me so i did not do it I'm gonna save it for I don't even know. I'm gonna I might forget. I have to do it by the end of the month, so I gotta do it soon. Fuck. Anyways. Alright. I'm gonna drink this tea and then uh, go on my walk.